Enix neighborhood is on the lookout after one home was spray painted with swastikas. Zach Crenshaw with the story. You could see it from space. It was really, really big. Alba Rodriguez was in Flagstaff when she got the call from a neighbor. Well, your house was tagged. I'm like, oh, crap. But it wasn't normal graffiti. Well, you got two swastikas. I'm like, excuse you? I'm like, what the? The swastika is one of the most recognizable hate symbols in the world. Tammy Gillies with the ADL says it's a message crime. Clearly, this was meant uh, not just to terrify the family, but the entire community. And hate crimes have been on the rise in our communities. From 2018 to 2019, Phoenix PD reported a 45% increase. They jumped again in 2020 from 156 to 204. We're committed to tracking, to investigating, and to stopping these attacks. We know we have to do better. Mayor Gallego addressing the disturbing numbers earlier this month after the N-word was shouted during Vice Mayor Calvin Good's funeral. In recent years, we've done stories on the racist extremism, including one year ago when a violent neo-Nazi group had recruiting flyers up in downtown Phoenix, just a mile from Alba's home. You actually cannot legislate or arrest your way out of hate. The only way forward is through education. Alba, though, is still hoping for an arrest. Everyone in the neighborhood is looking. And she wants whoever scrawled the message to hear this one. You're not scaring me away. You know, we're staying in this house. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Moving on to national news now, a string of winter storms has really cut a path across.